Hey guys, this is a review for Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut. This is my second Kurt Vonnegut book after Slaughterhouse Five, and after reading both of them, I just I love Kurt Vonnegut now, and hopefully I can explain why by the end of this, and why I would just want to continue reading all of the books he's written. Cat's Cradle is the story of the narrator John, who at the beginning of the book uh, it tells us that he is a writer and that he is hoping to write a book about what important Americans were doing on the day that the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima to kind of create a juxtaposition between the two. And while working on the book, he kind of hopes to find out more information on a deceased scientist named Felix Honecker who helped develop the atomic bomb. In the process of this, John learns about the three Honecker children who are all now adults. His oldest son, Franklin, who has actually been gone ever since uh, his father's death. Newt, who is a midget and a painter, and at the beginning of the book is hoping to marry a Russian midget woman. And Angela, a very talented clarinetist, who when their mother died, kind of took care of her father and their, her two brothers like a mother would. John discovers that Honecker, before he died, created something called Ice Nine, a substance that if it comes into contact with water, it instantly freezes and solidifies that entire body of water. All of the Ice Nine that Honecker created before his death is in the possession of his three children. The story eventually leads John and the three Honecker children to this a uh, fictional island country called the Republic of San Lorenzo, which is run by a dictator that the country in country's inhabitants call Papa. They speak a weird uh, in dialect of English that most English speakers don't really understand, and the vast majority of people on the island are a part of a religion that Vonnegut invented himself called Bokanonism, which is actually banned on the island by the government. Like, if you're found out, if it's found out that you follow this religion, you will be hung up on a hook to die slowly while everyone can look at you. Bokanonism is a very interesting religion, it is kind of peppered throughout the book. John, the narrator, talks about everything that's going on as if it's already happened. So like at the beginning of the book, he already tells us that he is already like a part of the religion book canonism and kind of shows us what it is throughout the book before we even know how he became one. So the story starts at the very beginning of him trying to put together this book that he wants to write, but we follow him on his path to San Lorenzo and to Bacanonism. The religion is basically written entirely uh, in the form of calypso music and poetry by this calypso singer named Bocanon. It's based on this idea of FOMA, which is harmless untruths. The entire foundation of the religion, all of its teachings and practices and texts and everything, is that all of it is a lie. It is formed entirely of lies, but that those who take part in those lies, who adhere to them, will have a better life and a better connection to God and to their caress. And the caress is a group of people that you meet in life that are linked to you in a very, very hard to understand, significant way that kind of rules where you go in life. And there's a whole bunch of other terminology related to the religion and songs that we learn about and practices and teachings and all that and it's really really interesting. So basically this is the story of John, the three Honecker children and their like relationship to their very very detached scientist father, all of their lives on San Lorenzo, all of their uh, attraction to bocanonism, the idea of bocanonism, and it's just got a whole lot of really great ideas going on with a very, uh, within a very small amount of pages. This book just has this such such a great dry humor to it. it. It's perfect and subtle and just makes me love Vonnegut. This and Slaughterhouse Fire were just both great and I'm not sure which one I like more, but they both got this very similar humorous, staccatoed writing style. It isn't like flowing, beautiful language, it's just like a series of statements written one after the other. Observations and facts and different short points of interest that the narrator is telling us. The sentences are short, the paragraphs are short, and the chapters are very short. Some of them are only a page long. So the book moves pretty fast, and it's just a whole lot of fun. Vonnegut just has this way of being very funny and very poignant. Has a lot to say and a lot to tell us, and just kind of packages it all together in this series of events that we follow that are told to us as they happen. And despite 
just being the series of statements and facts and stuff and the way the sentences are put together and the way the different facts are put together, the different statements are put together, it just has this certain beauty to it that I've really only come across within Vonnegut's work. This is easily one of my new favorites, just like Slaughterhouse Five was after I read that. There's just a lot going on, a lot to pick up on, like commentary on uh, science and destruction, science and indifference, uh, the nature of truth and what is truth, religion, the purpose of humanity, the end of humanity, carelessness, cynicism, etc. And it's also just a whole lot of fun to read. It's really enjoyable. And I, I don't want to say any more than that because I think you just pick it up and read it because it's so good. And I can't wait to read more Vonnegut. I'm thinking about picking up uh, very soon uh, Mother Night, uh, Breakfast of Champions, Player Piano, and I'm not sure what else just yet. But I know I want, I want to read all of his work now, and those are the ones that I, that are appealing to me from what I've heard about them so far. So yeah, if you haven't read any Vonnegut, go pick either this or Slaughterhouse Five up or any other book by him. I'm sure they're all awesome, and I can't wait to read more. I can't wait to talk about more as I read them. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any suggestions on which one I should be next, definitely let me know. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.